Are you visiting Korea over the summer? If so, here are four new offline auditions that you can try out for in Korea. Firstly, we've got SM's infamous Saturday weekly auditions. They happen every single Saturday except for holidays. And the best part, it's practically for anyone, regardless of your age, gender, or nationality. Next, we've got JYP's monthly audition that happens in their JYP center in Korea. And this one is every first and third Sunday of the month. Next, High Up Entertainment also has a monthly audition that occurs on the last Sunday of every single month. And this one is called their feedback audition because it's a little bit different from typical offline auditions. What happens is you follow through the typical audition process that happens in an offline audition setting, except in a few weeks time, you'll be able to receive an email that consists of the judge's response to your audition. So it'll give you literal feedback. Lastly, this is unfortunately the only non-ongoing audition I have with me here today, but it is Pledis Entertainment's offline audition in Seoul. So these four auditions I'll definitely be trying for this summer. I don't know which ones I'll actually like be able to actually go to, but it's okay because I have tons of more audition experience videos with me. I have a playlist right here, which I'll be linking with me as well in the description. Why can't I talk today? And I'll be just starting with the audition tutorial now. So let's start off with High Up Entertainment. Go on to their third latest post, which is about their monthly audition. Click on it, if it loads, and then we're going to read the caption. And there is no English translation. Oh my god. Okay, so what is a feedback audition? Well, a feedback audition is when you give the judges your email address and they'll respond back to you in three weeks with a short feedback. And this is from the casting tamdangja, which is basically the casting director. So someone pretty high up, haha, <laughs> no pun intended. And the place that you'll be going to is High Up Entertainment. It's located in Mapugu, but you can just search this up. And the audition for the month of June, which has already passed, it was on June 25th, Sunday. And it was on the last day of Sunday and will be for future months as well. So it says here, it's every month last Sunday. So I'm pretty sure for the month of July, if I'm correct, it is on July 30, uh, 30th. 30th because that's the last Sunday and how to apply so you can apply uh, by just going there because there is no pre-registration and it starts from one two two three three can definitely count and the audition itself actually starts um 130 130 and anyone can apply apply regardless of your gender or your nationality but you do have to be born between 2005 to 2012 I don't know why I can't talk today Okay, so um, you have to choose one category between dance, rap, and singing. Why did I say it in that order? Oh my god. So for singing, you have to do no instrumental, and it should be within a minute or so. Same thing for rap. And for dance, make sure you have your song ready on your phone, and it should also be near a minute. It says here, if you're doing dancing, then you should have your phone unlocked and like have your password unlocked. And for other information that they specifically state, if you are auditioning in a group, it should be under five people and they will only contact people who passed the audition and they will basically keep the personal information, but they're not going to use it for public use. And if you are under 15 years, then you do need your parents' permission. It says the same thing in the post itself. And now we're going to move on to the Pledis audition. So I'm on the Pledis audition official account here. And this one is the one I'm talking about, the audition in Seoul. This audition is held on July 15th, Saturday, and it's from 12 to 4. Okay. And the location is Blue Square, and it's the third floor, so I'm assuming it's not their Pledis Entertainment place, I'm not too sure about that. But it's anyone born between 2005 to 2012, the exact same as the Stacey Audition. And the categories that they're looking for is vocal, rap, dance, or confidence. And confidence is just one of those kind of other categories where you can really do anything you want as long as it shows your confidence. And so how to apply? There is a pre-registration form but you can also go like on the day and apply there but I'm assuming that that'll take a lot more time because there's wait time so you go on to the Google form this one is due on the 14th 11:59 um, KSD time and when you're actually applying on the spot I don't recommend that just do the pre-registration I guess the only case that would work is if it's after the 15th and you decide that you still want to audition but you have to include your 
학생증, which is basically like a student ID. If you're not in Korea, or if you're not Korean, then you probably need your passport. But anything that confirms that it's you. And if you're under 14 years, then you also need parent permission. So for a dance, you have to actually prepare the song on your phone. Same thing as Stacy, or not Stacy, High Up Entertainment. And if you do pass the audition, then you'll be able to become a Pledis trainee. And the personal information is purely just for judging, nothing more. And they do not email people who do not pass the audition. And lastly, you know, situations might change from COVID-19, but I highly, highly doubt that. So let's go on to the Google form. So it is all in Korean, so if that is a trouble for you, then make sure to translate this and ensure that you understand it and know what you're getting yourself into. But you do have to agree to it to move on to the next step of the uh, form. So you have, again, same thing one more time. So you're going to have to choose one of these, which is 14 and over and under 14. So I'm just going to go for under 14 just for the sake of showing you guys what to do in that scenario. So again, you have to agree and you have to write your, uh, I guess, parent or guardian's name and the relationship. So this could be mother, father, I don't know, aunt, aunt, something like that. And then your or their contact information, so phone number preferably, and then email address. Next, English translation. Oh my goodness, I'm saved. Boy, girl, your name, your date your of birth, your height and weight, your phone number, your nationality, your field, your category, a photo of yourself, and how did you hear about this audition? Lastly, it's just like a thank you for applying for this. Meet us on the 15th from 12 to 4. See you then. Now we're headed on the SM Audition official account, and it is totally not the next day of me filming this. My voice definitely doesn't sound different. <laughs> this one is their SM Weekly, and again, surprise, surprise, no English translation. But it's super simple. They've got like under 50 text on here. Words, 50 words. So it is to literally anyone regardless of your age, gender, or your nationality. And it happens every single Saturday at 11 uh, a.m. And the application, when you actually get there, ends at 1 a.m. So what you have to do is just make it before 1 and after 11, and you'll be able to apply on the spot. There's no pre-registration whatsoever. Basically, it's in the Songdonggu area, so you just gotta go. And just audition, that's literally it. And for other aspects like the categories and then the time limit, you can kind of just infer those from the other auditions that we've been taking a look at because all of these offline auditions are pretty much similar to one another. But now we're going to move on to the JYP audition official account. In this one you have to scroll quite a bit and we land here which is called their center audition. Thank goodness there's an English translation. So it's held um, this month for July on July 2nd, 2023 and the time is from 1 to 4 and there's no entrance after 4 p.m. and the qual qualification is anyone born between 2001 to 2012. I love that because they actually give more chances to people that are not just like after 2006 or something like that regardless of your gender and nationality. It's held in the GRP center and the categories that you can audition for are vocal rap dance and acting and model and how to apply it's a walk-in registration similar to the SM1 and you have to bring your ID for example your passport to participate and you can only apply for one audition category. All applicants must prepare a mobile device with wireless internet connectivity, so you have to have data on your phone, such as a smart pad, smartphone, why did I say smart pad, smartphone, or tablet. And all applicants will submit their application online on site. So you actually have to like apply on the site like it's a pre-registration but you have to do it when you get there to be honest i'm not sure if you submit that form before your audition or afterwards but if i get the chance to audition then i'll definitely tell you guys how it goes and you may apply as a team we'll be waiting for your participation so it's a little bit more i guess strict compared to the sm1 they also have their next wave audition going on so let me just quickly touch on that although there is an english translation so the online registration period is from July 3rd to August 3rd and the audition date and place is from August 4th to 6th and it's held in Junggu which is basically the Seoul Youth Center. It's not their JYP Center, different from their monthly audition. So the categories are singing, rapping, dancing, acting, and model. Choose one category only. And the audition qualification is anyone born between 2005 to 13. Oh my goodness, 2013 is crazy. But um, anyone can participate regardless of their gender and nationality. 
So firstly, you've got to access the JYP Audition official website and register for the next Wave Audition. Dance applicants must upload either an audio file or a URL from video platforms for their dance music. And then you have to print the application form through my audition page on the JYP Audition official website and bring it to the audition. Now I don't know what I'm going to do for this because I don't have a printer. Ha ha ha. So there's a designated audition schedule for each applicant, which will be determined by the audition code that is assigned when completing the online registration. It's kind of loaded. So make sure to attend the audition by the corresponding time. Okay, okay, okay. And the walk-in registrations will also be available on the day of the audition. So you don't actually have to apply online, but I recommend doing so because it just kind of cuts down the wait time. And all applications who applicants who submit the online pre-registration application must attend the audition at the site. Kind of obvious. So let's head on to the website and see what this is all about. So firstly, change the language to English right here. here. So it repeats all the information, we can click on to apply. Let's just say we're a non-Korean for the sake of this video. So you fill in all of this information. It's pretty self-explanatory and then agree and apply. It's as simple as that. So please pray for me that I can actually get into these auditions. But for more audition tutorials, I'll be linking a playlist down below which has a bunch of audition tutorials which consist of mainly online ones. But that is everything for today and I'll see you guys in the next one.